brilliant news. By around 2050, the majority of vehicles will be powered by either hydrogen, electric or solar power or a hybrid combination. Fossil fuels will be obsolete and plastics will all be replaced by biodegradable cellulose-based materials. New and more efficient materials will make sun rays our main source of energy. These new materials will mean that solar panels will be able to absorb more sunlight, be more efficient and function even when the sky is overcast. At first, large solar farms will power Power our towns and cities, but eventually every road surface and every roof will be collecting the sun's rays. Augmented and virtual reality will become part of our everyday life. We'll be able to view a product in full 3D, check its size and color before buying it. We'll be able to visit a hotel and check out its location, amenities and even the room before you stay. Or check out real estate properties without having to travel there. Virtual concerts, virtual museum visits or art gallery tours will be commonplace. And popping down to your local virtual supermarket to fill your virtual shopping cart before paying at the virtual checkout will just be a matter of donning your VR headset. Our way of learning will also change. Whereas now, when we want to know how to do something, we watch a YouTube tutorial. In 2030, we'll put on our VR headset and load a simulator. Virtual driving lessons, virtual arts and crafts, DIY, musical instruments, whatever you want to learn will be available as a 3D simulation. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a like. It helps a lot. Every device will be connected to the internet. This will allow for the automation of everything. Your alarm will wake you up in the morning with your favorite song. Your coffee machine will have a brew ready for you. Your dishwasher will have washed your dishes and your robot vacuum will have your floors clean. Your wardrobe will pick out your clothes based on the weather forecast and what you have planned on your calendar. Your fridge will order food and restock itself and warn you when things are close to their expiry date. Your house will automatically regulate its temperature, air quality and luminosity, dimming lights or raising blinds to obtain the perfect balance. And all of this will be adjustable and controllable by just using your voice. Virtual assistants like Google Assistant, Alexa or Siri won't be as we know them today. They will be much more advanced, able to pick up on the tone of our voice to determine our mood and adjust accordingly. They will be less like a voice controlled virtual assistant and more like a life companion. The use of intelligent robots will be more widespread and the majority of the more menial tasks will be done by them. They will also be connected to the internet and this along with the advancements in AI will mean they require less supervision and be far more autonomous. The way we move will also see massive changes. Autonomous cars will be able to charge themselves, remind you of appointments or meetings that you have, and they'll be able to meet you at your door with the cabin temperature perfectly regulated. They will also be connected to the internet and able to give you new updates, email alerts, and weather forecasts for the day. They'll take you where you need to be and then go off and park somewhere, waiting until you need them again and summon them to your location. The Hyperloop will also be available for longer distances, working almost like an automatic subway system. You'll go to the station and enter a pod. This pod will then join other pods to form a cluster and enter into the transporter. And this transporter enters the Hyperloop tube. Inside the tube, the transporter will be able to travel in excess of 600 miles per hour, taking you to your destination in just a few minutes. The Starship Super Heavy won't just be able to take 100 people into space or to the moon or Mars. Earth-to-Earth -Earth flights will also be possible. Reaching speeds of over 16,000 miles per hour, the Starship Super Heavy will be able to fly from New York City to Shanghai in just 39 minutes. Does the future excite or scare you? Comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe for more.